interesting game tomorrow. And we have good experience of playing sides like Crawley over the years, who like Burton and Exeter some years back. And uh, it's a reminder that shocks can happen, and we always did in the, against those two teams in the past. But, you know, I think the call to the, the players we have tomorrow uh, shouldn't give us the same worry. Uh, and we do respect the fact that Crawley are the best non league side for quite a while. Uh, seem to have a lot of money invested in their players and position at the top of the week or near the top of the week with the games in hand we'll probably see them get promoted to the proper the week proper. So there's always room for ambition and I think that they could they could go they could do well in the end of the week with the kind of money they've got behind them and the ambition they've got. So we expect a toughish type of game. I think they're very committed, very aggressive. Their performance against Derby, Swindon and Torquay tell you that, you know, they deserve to be in this round. And Crawley, Crawley a proper fairy tale. Scottish managers will have got you a bottle of red wine apparently. They're always a good one. <laughs> but it's probably about 12,000 fans. It's their dreams come true. 12,000? I thought it was none. They're talking about 12,000. 9,000. Nine. Well, they make a million out of it. Brilliant for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they talk about the FA dying and all the rest. It won't die you, as long as you've got uh, giant killing acts that, that Crawley have produced and then every manager will tell you you don't want to be a casualty you know we lost to Leeds United last year first time we lost to Leeds United at home and and it wasn't easy to take that but they deserved to win on the day and they were up for it they made it a cup tie uh, you know and, and that'll be the same tomorrow Crawley will make it a cup tie they'll get stuck right in us into us you know there's no other way for them that's where they are